Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your font globally. Um, before we jump into that, I just want to explain um, uh, certain things about you know this particular tutorial. So if you were working on a custom WordPress site uh, where you had a custom theme that doesn't get updated, you could update your font globally through the styles.css file that is located in your theme folder. Um, in this case, um, we're using the theme 2020 and there's no child theme set up for it. So we will be um, using the customizer for this. Um, and the reason why we wouldn't go on the server to um, edit the styles.css file is because being that there's no child theme set up, if we were to update this file as is from the regular parent theme, when a new update rolls into the dashboard for this theme, it will override it. So you would have to keep on doing this, keep on doing this, keep on doing this if you were to take that route. Um, it's always good practice to set up a child theme, you know, if you do foresee yourself making, you know, changes within the theme and you don't want the update to overwrite that. So that's that's another story. So, um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to edit that. So, uh, first and foremost, um, we are going to, um, go to Google fonts. So fonts.google.com. Um, and I am going to search for the font Lemonada. All right. So I'm just going to click on this and then I am going to select all of the styles that I want. So I want light, regular, um, medium, semi-bold, and bold. So I'm just going to select, 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 and select. All right. So easy enough, right? So now um, I want to put this on my um, site. So in doing that, um, we're going to go to embed. And there's a couple ways that you can embed this. So again, going back to if you had your site um, set up with a child theme, um, uh, you could just take this code right here and drop it in your header file uh, before the closing head tag. Um, and then of course you could set your font family for your body, paragraph, headings, and you know, whatever else. Um, but being that we can't edit that file, uh, we're going to import it. So there's a few things that we're going to need to do. So first we're going to copy just in between the style tags. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to put this right here on my notepad. And then, um, I'm going to copy this font family, um, for the actual CSS for the indicator and just uh, paste that right in between these curly brackets. This asterisk is gonna indicate all of the text, okay? So now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy all of this. Then we're gonna go to our customizer. So uh, to get to the customizer, let me just uh, go backwards here. Um, you would go under appearance and go to customize. And then you would click on additional CSS. So from here, I can just paste everything in here. And as you can see, it changes the font globally. And being that the CSS is in here indefinitely, it doesn't matter if any updates roll through um, for this particular theme, they will not get overwritten because they will be in the dashboard, which is connected to the database. So now I'm just going to hit publish and that's it. Well, thank you so much for viewing this tutorial. Um, as always, we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, even on holidays. So if you have any questions, please reach out to our support center. Thank you so much.